Why is lucid dreaming so hard? A few reasons. The first one is that you're watching a bunch of different stuff online, different videos, you're reading Reddit posts, you're watching TikToks, and most of these things are just massively exaggerated and they're not how, they don't show you how it's actually gonna work. Okay, they're just massively exaggerated claims that don't really make sense. And most of them are just not true. It's like some 12 year old posting on Reddit saying that he's lucid every night for eight hours a night or something. It's just not possible. But you're reading those things and you have no way of telling whether they're true or not because there's no real way to prove whether you've had a lucid dreaming experience. And so you have a combination of that and then you also have all of these techniques promising instant lucid dreams. And while you can get lucid instantly from certain techniques, most of the time it actually takes building habits. And this is not the... This is not the super appealing, you know, super attractive answer that you probably want to hear, but it takes, you have to build real skills. You have to actually build conscious awareness and presence in the present moment. That doesn't happen overnight. You know, that happens over months, weeks, years even uh, to build a really present state of mind. And even then you can lose it. Like, you know, if you, if you take your eye off the ball, if you stop practicing, if you stop trying to lose a dream, it can go away. You know, it's like building a muscle. You need to keep training the muscle, keep exercising it and, you know, staying consistent with it. Otherwise it, you won't maintain it. It will just go away. And one of the biggest, you know, reasons lucid dreaming is so difficult is that until you've actually had one. So for, the, for those of you who've never had one, you have it the most difficult, right? If you've had a couple, it's not as difficult because you kind of know what to expect. You know what you're aiming for and you, you'll know when you're actually lucid. But before you get there, it's like you're trying to think about, you're trying to visualize what this thing will feel like that you've never done. And so you don't know what to aim for. You don't know when you've done it. You you might be confused about like, you know, I had this dream where this such and such happened. I wasn't quite sure if it was lucid. You don't know, right? So you have no idea how to like calibrate yourself. So my advice to you, the best the best thing you can do is just to only focus on what you can control. This doesn't just apply to lucid dreaming, by the way. It applies to many things, but try and just only focus on what the things you can control. So in this case, it's doing reality checks, writing your dreams down, or at least trying to write them down, to try to write something down every morning. <clears throat> and, you know, just trying to lucid dream, setting the intention when you go to bed, and just as, as you're about to fall asleep, just set the intention that, I'm going to have a lucid dream now. And just by doing those things, the, and they're the only things you can really control, just by doing those things, you will have much better luck. You're much more likely to actually lucid dream because you're building the habits instead of just focusing on the exaggerated claims and, and exciting adventures and stories that you're trying to do. Those things will come later but you first need to build those habits. Another thing you can do is to focus on your bedtime and your wake up time. And uh, you might be wondering, especially if you've been watching this channel for a while, you might be thinking, well, why do you just repeat the same things, the same kind of, the same sort of advice in different ways? And it's because those things are what's gonna help you lucid dream. And 95% of people hear those things and think, oh, that's nice, that's fun, but there must be another way. There must be something else whether it's a device, a supplement, a technique, or whatever the case is, you're, you're constantly looking for this magic bullet, this something else, when really it's just about coming back to the basics and actually doing them. This, this applies not just to lucid dreaming, but this applies to many, many things, like for example, health. If you've ever heard of a concept called biohacking, it's this idea of improving yourself using either uh, technology, things, supplements, uh, you know, different things. And really the most effective biohacks, if you can even call them, is just going back to the basics. Drinking water, sleeping enough, exercising enough, mindset, meditation. Those are the, the true things. They're, they're the things that will make the biggest difference. And it's the same for lucid dreaming. Sure, you can go off and get supplements and devices and all kinds of stuff and learn different techniques. But really, the things that will make the biggest difference, like the 95%, the big domino, like the whatever you want to call it, the low-hanging fruit, is those basic things, the reality checks, the dream journal, the meditation, the awareness, and the intention. 
if you just get those things right, everything else will be super easy and you'll have those lucid dreams very easily and effortlessly. And so really that's what separates in, you know, in my probably over a decade now of teaching lucid dreaming and, and researching and learning and doing it, the, the thing that separates people who can lucid dream regularly to from those who can't is just, do you do the basics right every single day? Are you consistent with the basic stuff? And yeah, that might be a boring answer, but that's also, in my opinion, really a really good answer. That's really good news because that's all stuff you can control. You don't need to rely on luck. And it's also very easy. It's simple. And the only difficult thing is being consistent and doing it every day. So yeah, let me know. And check out the links in my description if you haven't seen them for a while. There's some new stuff there. You're going to like it.